is a deferred prosecution, and how does it work in drug offense cases? Attorney Michael Munoz says, A deferred prosecution is basically a type of diversion, where you see it in cases that involve the possession of illegal drugs. For example, possession of marijuana, possession of methamphetamine, possession of cocaine. All of these are illegal drugs. Where you really see deferred prosecution in Maricopa County is how it relates to people who are charged with possession of those illegal drugs and them hopefully getting a plea offer that involves task. If a person is fortunate enough to get task, and that's what a good defense attorney is trying to get for their clients, assuming that a case against their client is strong. Then when you get task, what happens is the prosecution or the state essentially put the criminal charges on hold. So they'll suspend the prosecution. Then while the person is starting task, and as long as the person successfully completes task, then the case gets dismissed and it never goes on your criminal record. The reason why they freeze it or defer prosecution is they want the ability to bring it back because if a person fails to complete task and they start missing drug tests, then they're able to unfreeze or get it out of deferred prosecution and then they'll reinstate prosecution and they will bring those criminal charges back up against the person. The one thing that is important about deferred prosecution to understand is when a person decides to enroll in the task program because of an illegal drug charge, they need to know that they are agreeing to waive their right to contest probable cause and go to trial in the future. So that if a person decides to join task, they need to know that if they don't successfully complete it, they no longer have the right to a preliminary hearing because the state has already made them agree to probable cause ahead of time, which means they will go to the next level in the criminal justice system and they will have a trial date set.